Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and I'm going to show you how to work with the media library in ScreenFlow 4. To get to the media library, just go over here to the properties pane and click on the furthest right tab, the one with the little musical note icon. And here's a list of all the media that you have in your project. The few things you can do to change the looks in here, you can make the icons larger or smaller by dragging the zoom. A couple other different display options. Click here and you can show duration overlays. And that puts the duration of the clip in the bottom right corner. Say this one's 42 seconds. You can also sort your media. You can arrange it by name, when it's added to the project, duration, or type. And you can also group your media by type. Select that. Here's the media group by type. You can also view your media in list mode by clicking this icon down here. Here's the list. You can sort this list, ascending or descending, by clicking next to name, or ascending, descending by time by clicking next to duration. And above it, next to the little magnifying glass, you can search by name for any different type of media. I'm going to go back to icon mode here. A couple of other things you can do in here is right click on the media and you can preview the source. You can add the media to the timeline at the scrubber. You can select that clip in the timeline so you can find it a bit easier. Or you can completely delete that piece of media from the project. You can add media to your project by clicking add media and you can search your computer for whatever media you need to add. I'm going to add this image here. And to get this image into your timeline, two different ways. One showed you earlier is to right click and add the timeline at Scrubber. And there it shows up in there in your timeline. Or you can just click on the media and drag it into your timeline and place it wherever you need it. So in case you're wondering, this is a picture of my dog that has just eaten some cabbage that we just bought at the store. It's awfully nice of her. <laughs> So the last thing you can do with the media library is to add more screen recording. Just click add recording. There's a several different options here on what to add. And then you can just select record to add that to the current project. So that's what you can do with the media library in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.